Hello, my name is Christopher Davis. We're at Sacred Wave Gong Immersions today. And this is a new uh, compilation, creative endeavor. And um, so I'll be reading uh, the Gospels, John, Mark, Matthew, and Luke. Not necessarily in that order, but today we're starting with uh, the Gospel of John, chapter one, uh, followed by a gong meditation so that you might have a more direct connection with the Creator. So here we go. Gospel and Gong, day one. The Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He, he was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and that the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, has come into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. The law was indeed given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart. He has made him known. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, what then are you, Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, and the pro as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah nor Elijah, 
nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one whom is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany, across the Jordan from where John was baptizing. The next day, he saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is he whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him. But I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. The next day, John again was standing with two disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? And they, and they said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two was heard. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Peter's Simon, Peter's brother. He first found Brother Simon and said to him, I have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are called Cephas, which translated Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethesda, a city of Andrew and Peter the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, the son of Joseph, Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael come Toward him, he said to him, Here is truly an Israelite, whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where do you know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. This is chapter 1 of the Gospel of John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.